And there's two things going on. One, major investigations that he has. Uh, and two, there's a crisis in the government. Uh, he chose... And you campaigned strongly for those investigations. Yeah, especially when it came to arms deals that um, we don't like. You know, we all serve in the Army, special forces. We do whatever it takes, but we don't like our leaders to take advantage of our soldiers and uh, get uh, security and corruption doesn't work together in Israel. So um, I think that his government is in question. There's a crisis right now. And I think we on the other side, labor, the Zionist Union, we need to get ready. And so what, is, what, what do you think is going to happen and what do you think it's going to do to our relationship, uh, meaning our, the U.S. relationship with Israel? Well, I think uh, probably uh, there's a chance that a new government will be forming in about a year's time. Uh, I think that the new administration will have to come up with a new agreement or a new strategy with Israel because a lot of the discussions that have been talked about were regional agreement with some of the moderate Arab states like Jordan and Egypt, which is already there, but also Gulf states, Morocco, Tunisia, and have a larger deal, not just with the Palestinians. That's good, but you need in the core of that to be ready to have a political solution with the Palestinians. And you need, Israel needs to go back to being proactive just like we are in high tech, we need right. to go back to being proactive on the political scene. What is the view inside Israel of Jared Kushner? Jared Kushner has been assigned this project to uh, peace in the Middle East. He's, he's sort of responsible for that. Um, what, what is the view in Israel about him? Well, one thing that is very important that he's close to the president. So if it matters to the president, whoever it is you assign, uh, that means that it matters to, um, you know, to get a deal done. If it matters to get a deal done, you, as an Israeli, as somebody who wants to lead the deal or he wants to have input on the deal, you need to come up with a strategy on your own. So the view is everybody's happy, of course, that he's Jewish and he's connected to Israel and, and all that. But the fundamental thing is, is no matter what Trump meant exactly, once you come to do a deal, you need to come up with your own vision and strategy and Israel needs to be very clear on one. Yes, we want a two-state solution. Yes, we want three blocks of settlements. Yes, we want to control the security border on the Jordan. But we also are ready for a two-state solution, recognizing the Palestinians' rights. And we want to use that for a larger deal in the Middle East so that Israel can show its people what it is to gain from a deal, not just what it has to How give up. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.